Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm starting a project. This is the Project Panda's Eyeshadows. Um, and I'm really more doing the filming part as kind of like an accountability keeper, just make sure I keep with it. Um, but this is a project I've wanted to do for quite some time now. A uh, couple of years actually, I think I wanted to do this project, but I've never actually gotten the motivation to start it. It's always the starting, which is the hardest part. Essentially what this project is, is, is a project started by a girl named Alexi here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below if you're interested in checking her out. Um, but it's really just a project to use up your collection more, specifically in the eyeshadow area. And let's be honest, like if you've seen even one of my videos on this channel, you know how much of an eyeshadow palette junkie I am. I love eyeshadow. I love collecting eyeshadow, seeing eyeshadow, playing with eyeshadow, literally anything eyeshadow related, I'm obsessed. Because of my eyeshadow palette addiction and the fact that I have worked in the beauty industry for several years now, I have accumulated quite the collection, more eyeshadow than I think any single person would ever need in their lifetime. So I want to do this project to really use up my collection and get to know some of the different shadows within my collection. Um, and hopefully if I find formulas that I'm not really vibing with, then I can declutter those and make room for more of the stuff that I do like. Um, and then also just expanding my creativity by randomizing different shadows that I'm going to be using. I have seen this project done a hundred different times by a hundred different people. Everyone has their own unique way of doing this project. Um, for me personally, I'm going to be working with six shades at a time. Um, I'm going to randomly generate five shades. I've assigned each individual eyeshadow in my collection a number and I will be using a random number generator um, on Google to select the shades that I will be using. The sixth and final shade uh, for each round will be a shade that I select myself. Um, and that's just in case I pull a bunch of shades I'm not really liking or not really gravitated towards. It's that one extra little shade um, that will make me excited about using it or make it more exciting to use the shades I don't care for. That's at least my thought process. With that being said, the goal of course is to hit pan in the eyeshadow, um, which I'm excited for. I've only hit pan in one eyeshadow in my life and I've been doing makeup for years, so. I am extremely light-handed in my makeup, so I know that certain shades and formulas will be really difficult for me to hit pan on. Um, and for that reason, I think my goals are going to be either to hit pan on an eyeshadow or use the eyeshadow at least 20 times. Um, and if I can't even do those, if it's been in my rotation for at least three months, then I can, you know, kick it out and choose something else. Um, and that's just kind of essentially my goals. I'm just really looking to use my eyeshadows more and to not get stuck in the rut of the same five palettes over and over and over again. I think that is all of the rules. Oh, I do want to reserve the right at any point, if one of these rules isn't working for me, if one of these shadows isn't working for me, I am not going to hate myself and make myself miserable using something that I am not interested in. Um, I will, of course, if I'm finding that's the case with a certain shadow um, or just a certain rule that I'm kind of falling into, um, then I will, of course, adjust that as needed. Uh, so if at any point in this project you see me doing something like that, just know I reserve the right to do that. I am planning on running this project from now, so August of 2021 through December of 2021, just to kind of get a feel for it. I'll do monthly updates on all of the progress I've made um, and also share the different looks that I've come up with as well. I'm trying to take more selfies and documenting my makeup. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do the fun part, which is picking our shades. So I would use a random number generator on my phone, but I am recording on my phone. So instead I have my laptop. Um, because it is so bulky, I will not be sharing the screen. Um, so just trust that I am picking random numbers. So I put my intervals in at minimum two, uh, maximum 1493. We're not going to talk about that. We have problems on this side of the internet, okay? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and generate five numbers and we'll go from there. First number is 1245. The second number is 1359. Next, we have shade 893, 256, and the last randomly generated shade is 970. I'm going to go pull those palettes out, and I will be right back. I am back. I just went and grabbed the palettes that have the shades we generated, um, and after I share the generated shades, I will go ahead and share the shade I picked for my sixth shade. 
So the first shade that I drew is from the Dose of Colors X I Love Sarai palette. I don't know how to say her name. I've had this forever. Um, and the shade that I selected is called Wanderlust. Oh my gosh. Okay, great, great, great. We're off to a good start. This is a matte brown shadow. Um, let me try and like bend the mirror. So we're working with this top shade right here. I think this will be great for fall. I've had this palette actually years and we can tell how much I've used this. I was really scared it was gonna be this deep black shade, um, but thank goodness it is not. So that is the first shade. Uh, let me go ahead and swatch that for you too. These are really, really nice mattes. Okay, so that is what that first shade looks like, Wanderlust. The second shade, it is like super hot and I don't have air conditioning. I am sorry if I look crusty. The second shade I drew is from my ColourPop in a Trance palette, and the shade that we drew is Future Self, which is this really pretty light blue shade. I'm super excited about this one. I've really been into blue eyeshadow recently, so I think it will be fun to get some use out of that one. Not sure this is a shadow that I will end up hitting pan on anytime soon, but definitely a fun one to use. So let me go ahead and swatch that one. This one's super pastel and it has a hard time showing up on my skin tone, but here is the second shade. The third shade comes from my ColourPop Lemoncello palette and this is the shade Capri, which is this gorgeous green shimmer. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited about this. <gasps> This shade is so pretty and so buttery. Look at that, look how gorgeous that is. Okay, okay. Eyeshadow palette gods are on my side today. That's what we're learning. Okay, the fourth shade comes from my Anastasia Riviera palette. This is the shade Seashells, which is this pretty aqua teal shade. Another fun one, especially with August. I think this will be such a fun shade to work with. And in conjunction with that green shade from the Lemoncello palette, look how pretty. I am so, so excited about this. Not really the shades I was expecting to get, but I think this is a good lineup. I'm excited about this. Okay, so far so good. The last shade that I randomly drew is from my Tarte Aspen Ovard palette. Does anyone remember this? I feel like this was such a big deal, like literally three years ago. Um, the shade I drew is the shade Brilliance. This is such a hard palette to show, but it is this white, like champagne shimmer shade up in the corner. Let's go ahead and swatch her quick. Okay, so it's kind of like a baby pink, almost like an inner corner highlight type shade. I am excited about this. Ah, oh, it's gonna be such a good lineup. Okay, so here are the five shades we generated. Now let me share with you guys the shade that I am selecting personally to work on this summer. The sixth and final shade that I will be working on for the next month comes from my ColourPop Midnight Masquerade palette. This is the shade Pip, and this is one I actually tried to pan a while ago. I know this is more of a gimme shade, but let me tell you, like a lot of these shades are shades I've never even touched. I want at least one shade that I feel confident I can make a good amount of progress on, and the dip in here is already really nice. Plus, I think the shade will complement that first shade I drew really nicely. So this is that final shade, Pip. This is our entire lineup of shades for the next month. I am so, so excited to get to work on these shadows and I can't wait to update you guys in about four weeks with my progress. If you have any tips or have done this project yourself, definitely leave them down below for me. I'm more than happy to hear what other people are finding works for them. Um, if you are interested in keeping up with my series, make sure you're subscribed and give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep making these. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys.